Okay, I've counted the runners down. We should see them head off shortly. It, yeah, it should be about a 45 second delay. So in the meantime, um, for those who don't know about the category, um, in All Skills Hollow Knight, we get all, I mean, as the name says, we get all the skills. That includes the all the all the spells as well as the upgrades, nail arts, and all movement abilities. And both runners are off now. You'll see them do their first inventory drop in the game. This is uh, a, 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 I'm not sure how to call it a tactic. Uh, speed tech thing that we use. Yeah, we used to get early control. So you can see them, they uh, they pressed escape at the very beginning, which allows for early control of the night. Um, and we use the inventory drop there to uncap our fall speed uh, to get the fastest drop into the very start of the game. It also cancels out the, halt, the hard fall, which especially in King's Pass saves about seven, eight seconds. It's actually fascinating to me because although you it's it's actually the earliest segments that have some of the hardest movement because you don't have any movement abilities yet every tiny jump matters so much more. Yeah, I would completely agree. And with how hard it is to move optimally in Hollow Knight that can actually be quite a learning curve to figure out. Yeah, and we see both runners now coming out of King's Pass into a dirt mouth, both getting fairly good King's Passes as well. So although you might see the the runners jumping around or swinging their nail randomly at times throughout the run, going through dirt mouth is actually the only time when that actually matters, because the game automatically slows you down when you're going through the area. But if you're jumping, you have normal speed. Yep, and for a little information um, on the runners, uh, Sabi's PB is a 57.27, um, while Kali's is a 59.26. So it should be an interesting race, if they, as they have quite a close PB to each other. So this room here, the Aspid Arena, has a trick for an insta kill on these two where you smack that spike into both aspids unfortunately it's both runners miss it and they both struggle with the cleanup with sabi having a slightly better cleanup than kali but they should be only a couple seconds off from each other which this early in the race it still can go either way yeah of course and we see um them both having fairly clean gome rooms. Sabi getting hit by that by the pesky uh, area where that vengefly is, um, and Kali getting through it un unharmed. And yeah. they're coming up to uh, False Knight here in a bit. So False Knight, we don't actually fight, although it's technically the first boss. We use a dev intended skip to completely bypass the second and third phases of the fight. It does drop an item which is usually needed to get into a later game area or a mid game area, but we sequence break to avoid needing that. So Kali having a little bit of trouble in the statue pogo room, that does put Wasabi ahead again, but it's still early moments yet. We'll see how the runners are after green path, after fungal wastes. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely definitely some strategic points um, where each runner can can pull ahead uh, or get behind each other. So yes. we'll definitely be looking out for those. It's uh, also important to point out that it's quite possible for a runner to perform not quite as well as usual due to race nerves. It's a very real thing. Oh, it's a thing for cons to too. Pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so here Kali is a little bit behind still but as I said it's it's early moments yet now the runners are heading to pick up their first skill vengeful spirit 
this will be quite a big damage output for us for most of the game especially once we get the upgraded version shade soul as well as the charm shaman stone and this spell is also used for a lot of movement early game it gives us just enough knockback that if done properly can get us across gaps between ledges that we wouldn't be able to jump without yeah definitely it's used uh, for some quite cool skips and in, uh, in green path for yep. sure after that it's not used for movement at all really because we have the dash which gives us more than enough forward momentum for any other ledges Uh, yeah, they're they're coming through. Uh, the runners come through mount here, and we'll see how how good their Balder RNG is. Uh, Looks like we'll saw be so, getting a second spit. Yeah, Sabi gets second spit. Very very nicely. We'll see very how clear. Kali gets. Oh, what Kali yeah. gets? It could be a little bit of a chance for her to catch up if she gets the first spit, which she does not. She also gets the second yep, spit. Both second spits by the runners. <laughs> Um, very nice to see that the that the boulder was not uh, not very not nice to them. I think tourney recce for boulder spits is eleven or so. I know Yikes. one of the runners got eight an eight spit boulder and still managed yeah. to get a PB. I know, I know, MC incredible. got an eight spit. Um, yeah, that's who I'm referring to. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure about um, more more than that. Um, although. Yeah, um, if if chat has any any insight on that, uh, that'd be appreciated. Oh yeah, so Gage yeah, is so Gage is confirming eleven. Yes. So up, what you just saw Wasabi do there is the Balder insta kill. Basically, you're able to use one two two one spaghetti code to get your fireball stuck on the enemy and have it kill it instead of how and having that one fireball kill it instead of having to do four fireballs as for the first one and risking the infamous balder rng a second time right or uh, or as palm likes to put it uh he, you walked so far away that he that he just cried and couldn't handle you leaving so he <laughs> i like that answer better yeah Yeah, because those boulders have a reputation of liking to mess up runs. So what you just saw Wasabi do is the first example from these runners of a fireball skip. Yeah, he uh, got, got a very, very clean one, uh, with yes. needing only two fireballs. This last fireball that he's in the room he's coming up on is the most important one, because if you miss it, you can lose up to 12 seconds. Let's see if he gets it second try. He does. Yeah, very clean. A uh, third fireball skip from Sabi. Yes, it could be that he'll give that that little bit will give Kali enough chance to catch up a bit more. Uh, yeah, if Kali's able to get it first try, that would definitely catch her up uh, in the slightest margin. Oh, but Kali wasn't that full Ooh. soul. Yeah. yeah, at this point, it is not helping her catch up, and she was. Yeah, she she's ended up ending up going around. She wasn't able to uh, get far as far off that platform as she um, probably thought she could have yeah so this is probably losing Kali I want to say at this point 17 seconds including fumbling around with the skip it is for some runners the hardest one it's debatable whether it's the hardest or the easiest yeah for sure um, but for those who it's the hardest it's very hard Kali also very low on Geo, as chat points out. That will be a stunt later on when she needs to purchase Shaman Stone, as well as Dash Slash, which has a hefty cost. Yeah, Sabi is, Sabi is 21 Geo ahead of Kali currently, so we'll see how um, how much uh, Geo the runners get here from each of their uh, respective, respective, respective Moss Knight kills. 
Holly really needs to pick up every bit she can. Yeah, definitely. You want to leave Green Path with roughly a hundred at least? Preferably more to be a bit more comfortable? Uh, three hundred, you mean? Yeah. I believe yeah. that's what I said. You said a but... hundred. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. So, the reason why Geo is so tight early game is because very early on we need to pick up Dash Slash, which we get completely scammed by Oro from for a hefty price of 800 Geo. Ooh, Kali not able to get the uh, Geo from the, the Moss Treasure right there, and it's going to be at a slightly uh, lower margin of 294, which means that she'll need to get a lot more Geo um, in City, um, and especially from from the the two before uh gold or gorgeous husk yeah so they're currently one hornet fight apart looks like kali is struggling a little bit taking some damage but i'm sure that she'll be fine hornet is almost dead at this point yep and that's a hornet fight So this next segment that Wasabi is going to go through, um, Fungal Waste, is actually one of my favorite parts of the run. You start to have a bit more movement, which lets you do more cool stuff. And it's also the first area where you really have... where you have a little bit of risk, what with the inventory drop over acid, as well as the explosion pogo, which if you mess up can deal two damage. So really clean acid inventory right. drop from Wasabi. And uh, we, we go into Fungal here to get Claw, which completely opens up the game from here. Um, oh yeah. For us, yeah. It's it's one of the, the it's, it's probably the greatest um, usage of vertical movement. Yeah, so much of the game is locked behind Claw that it's by far the most important one we get. So, uh, Wasabi coming up on the explosion pogo while Kali gets out of the acid inventory drop room. And uh, Explosion and Poco can be quite the time loss, um, either if you die to it or just have uh, a bad setup with it where you have to go around. But I'm pretty sure both runners here will get it as they are fairly experienced. Yeah. Uh, yep. As you can see, Wasabi there Wasabi getting the gets first, the first try. try. Makes it look easy. <laughs> yeah. So next up, he's going to be in Mantis Village. Um, this skip that he does. Ooh, with Kali Mantis taking Village. an unfortunate dump to the acid right there. Oof, you do not like to see it. Kali, you don't have tear yet. Oh, and, and another unfortunate. Oh no, stopping to heal. She needs to. She probably feels a bit uncomfortable going into the acid room without having four health, which is understandable. Mm hmm. But we'll see how Kali takes this explosion pogo. I really hope she gets it first try. Oh, she and misses not. the initial pogo. At least she doesn't take damage. That's the important That's thing. true. All right, getting it second try. As Sabi has gotten Claw uh, and is on his way to kill Gro's mother. So this is the second boss, the first one that we actually kill. Uh... And we are we are hearing from Sylvia that uh, Sabi forgot to turn off his his noise for uh, for gold splits because apparently he golded Claw. <laughs> well, congrats on the gold, Wasabi. Yep. Can we get a HK Gladden chat? Okay, so just going through Crossroads again. This is 
one of the last times we'll see Crossroads. Actually, technically, it's... Ooh, so I'll be taking uh, an unfortunate more. hit to, uh, to Jennifer right there. Did he let Jennifer live, though? That's the important question. Um, I do not believe so. Okay. I don't really care about Jennifer. The real question is, will he let Milo live? Hmm. Uh, well, we have her... He is, in f he is indifferent about Mila, so... Okay, I don't remember if, if Kali is a Mila killer or not. Kali taking a dunk in the gome room, uh, that's really awful, ooh, especially yikes. because... Oh, she is off cycle here, and it's... Yes, if yeah, you take a dunk there, the gomes are completely off cycle, which can completely screw over your timing. Yeah, definitely. So, Sabi uh, just got the aforementioned Shaman Stone. The reason why we take the time in the Geo to get this charm is because it buffs our spells so much that it's completely worth the time it takes to get it. We use it for the entire run, and it just helps us completely melt bosses. And I don't know what Wasabi was doing. Unfortunate death there. Um, it is oh, yeah, no. A very, very, very unfortunate, unfortunate death. A very, yeah. very stupid death to the, uh, the, the husk we right there. The oh, that. very unfortunate fireball, however. That actually is unfortunate. Oh, no. He missed the shade skip. Uh, that he does give Kali really more time to, to potentially catch up. Yes. He got the fireball very high up which does make it a lot harder to salvage. Kali also not having the best Grezzer cleanup. But she does get it. And she is one of those who benches before Solu Brazha. Interesting. Mm, yeah. I, I, I think that more and more, um, from what I've seen at least, runners bench after. Um, but... Occasionally they do bench before, uh, which is why recently the comm sub has turned to the entering of Blue Lake, I believe, right? Instead of getting Shaman Stone? I believe so, yes. I could be mistaken, though. Unfortunate death for Kali as well. I don't know what's going on with these runners today. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, they're just dying left and right. I don't know. I know, right? Well, hopefully this will be the only death of the run, and I really hope I didn't just comms curse them. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. Um, so the reason why Wasabi is killing all of those enemies there is because we need every last drop of Geo to be able to purchase Dash Slash from Oro. Yeah, Wasabi's so sitting at a comfy 260 Geo here, um, and we'll we'll see what he is at after. Uh, after the gorgeous husk. Yes. Meanwhile, Kali is still lower on Geo than I'd like to see. Yeah, 190 might be a little tight. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Wasabi is on PB pace because of... because of... struggling with the Aspid Arena. But I'm not familiar enough with his splits. Yeah, I'm. I'm not either. Um, but he has having a, a fairly good race so far, uh, from what I've seen. Oh yeah, and as we know, he golded. He golded. Yeah. Off. Um, Kali, unfortunately, not getting the all the hits that she wants on these on these enemies um, for the extra soul. But yeah. uh, getting through that room okay, um, and she's also now coming up to to Gorgeous Husk. So Wasabi had a really comfortable 737 Geo. Even if he kills all the same bugs that uh, hoppers that he would normally, then. Mm -hmm. then he'll be very comfortable geo wise for king station yeah no he's he's looking he's looking fine on geo kali on the other hand i'm a little bit worried about she might uh, need to kill all the hoppers in the room and get yeah all the geo which i mean for, for this all geo she'd she'd be at 
720, I believe, here. Yeah. Ooh, only 416. That, that I don't like yeah, that's gonna that. put her a little tight. Sabi at 8:30, uh, he's fairly comfy on Geo. At uh, 30 extra is fairly good as a uh, freaking station. Yes. Oh, Sabi will be definitely be fine. So Kali actually at 716 yeah, Geo, which okay. is actually just fine. Yeah, it that's means that that's she a fair. Can, yeah, she can go into the hopper room and get most of the geo, but yeah, still she, she doesn't have to be like too worried. Um, not as comfy as Joe's soppy going in, obviously, but still comfy enough that she will most likely do fine with the with the hoppers presented. Yeah. So chat telling us that Wasabi is in fact behind. I'm not sure about Kali, though. Both runners have a sub hour PB, although Wasabi's is two minutes ahead of Kali's. So, yeah, Kali is just fine on Geo. Oh, getting the exact Actually, right just amount. Yeah. Right on, just fine on Geo. <laughs> just. Yeah, only just. Well, for the magic number there. It does mean that King Station will be a little bit tighter, though. And yeah, Wasabi, definitely. Wasabi is now heading up into Spire with another another Devintended skip there. He's going to do the first lever skip of the route right there, where he hits that lever through the Ooh. floor. Uh, taking, taking an unfortunate hit and fall due to the the winged century. Yeah. You don't want to be century. down any health going into into Sanctum because that area is just brutal no matter what. Yeah, definitely. Sanctum is one of the hardest areas in my opinion for uh, for casual playthroughs and for this run. It's definitely one of the most RNG heavy segments, no question. Because those soul, soul twisters, twisters, yeah, those you know, those do suck. They can teleport straight into your dash and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Yup. Let's just uh pray that Slobby gets good RNG here. Yes. So it looks like he's struggling a little bit with that Soul Twister. He doesn't take any damage though, which is the important thing. And he's yeah. up to two spells of soul, which is also good. Uh, he's up to 54. Oh man, if only he had two more Geo. Would have been Shadows. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe he'll still get it. You don't know. Kali taking an alternate route, going for the other lever and going up from the bottom. Interesting. Yeah, so this is, some runners do choose to do that, particularly, particularly in a race setting, because hitting the other ladder to sequence break causes that, the top of that room there to be completely black. No visual cues, nothing. And some runners have a really difficult time navigating that area, because you basically need to completely trust your instincts and trust your muscle memory to be able to get out without getting stuck. Right, um, and we just saw Sabi get another lever or another lever skip, um, and with this time with Dash Slash, and he's about to do another one. But we just saw him get Shade Soul, which is a fairly good charm, and we use it um, a lot in the run. Or sorry, fairly good spell, uh, and we use it quite a bit in the run, just for for bosses and enemies and stuff like that, as it does yes. deal quite a lot of damage and has the possibility to has the possibility to double double and even triple hit. Mm -hmm. And I think total it's 80 damage if you double hit, which is quite a bit, especially against early game enemies. So Wasabi yep. now going to Soul Master. You want to have as much soul as possible, at least two hits of it going into the room because there's a strat we use to be able to kill it as quickly as possible. Yep, let's see Where... here if Snobby is uh, able to get the quick kill. Yep. 
Meanwhile, Kali is going to be making her way through the danger zone of Soul Sanctum. Let's keep an eye on her RNG. Uh, do you want to explain what Sabi's doing here, Sarah, with the yes. quick kill and everything? So what Wasabi did is he fired, as soon as the Soul Master finished screaming at him, he fired two Shade Souls, one in either direction. One broke the Soul Jars at the beginning of the room, giving him even more Soul to be able to hit him again. It looks like he's getting really poor on you though from Soul Master, as well yeah, as seems the Fireball. That really should have doubled, I don't know why it didn't because the Soul Master was moving away from him. Kali getting the sad RNG. Oh, and taking a hit from the elevator. You do not want to see that. I really hope she'll heal up. And the elevator is now at the top as well. Ooh, yeah, that's unfortunate as you have to now um, wall jump generally from the other side as you have to go around it. Yes. So Kali losing time um, there and choosing to ooh, heal. Ooh, and taking to heal. That's, I mean, yeah, it's wise, but now she has less soul for uh, for Soul Master, so it might be That's a bit true. harder. I would have healed up once if I were in her shoes. Yeah. Just because going into Soul Master to help is a little bit iffy. Mm -hmm. uh, Sabi, Sabi, Sabi here getting um, Desolate Dive, which is an ability that gives quite a bit of eye frames. Yeah, so this spell. Um, the, once we get the upgraded version, that's, uh, Descending Dark gives, gives us one of the biggest damage outputs we'll have for the entire game until the very end, as well as gives us iframes, which we use for multiple fights and areas. Yeah, namely the Watcher Knights fight, um, as it's used to chain uh, Descending Darks so that uh, you can kill the Watcher Knights as quickly as possible. Yes. It's also used in, uh, as I call it, a baby strat against the Mollerks. Kali at one health, giving us a bit of a scare, not having enough to heal. Oh, that's ballsy. He needs to heal Kali. Okay. <laughs> Give you a bit of a heart attack. Yeah, the, the, the one hit to stagger on the, uh, on the walk of, or the float, yeah. float across the stage of a soul master there. Oh, Wasabi unfortunately going going back up on the elevator. Oh no. As he comes as he comes down. But I wonder I'm curious to see if he'll save the grub. I don't know if he has the stream open, so I don't know if he knows that he's ahead. He does And he does the save the grub. You love to see it. You really do. You know what you also love to see? Killing Milo. Nope. Mm -mm. nope. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. Uh, so Kali here. <laughs> uh, Kali here now getting desolate dive as well. Yeah. Uh, as Sabi comes into to King Station. I'm not sure how far behind she is because I forgot to remember when uh, Wasabi picked up D dive. Oh yeah. Wasabi now picking taking this uh, mandatory bench. This next segment is really nerve-wracking at times. Because, because it's really long, yeah. You have to go through Crystal so Peaks. many sections. Yeah, it's really long. You have to go through all of Crystal Peaks, which is incredibly movement-based and has some really nerve-wracking segments. And Sabi, three, three yeah. Geo short and having to go back to uh, kill that uh, husk, I think. Jumping husk, I think they are. Jumping Unless husk. that's the one in Crossroads, I have no clue. I do not remember the names of enemies. Game, I don't look at the Hunter's Journal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bear saying, Sabi is it, uh, got the dive at 2021 and Kali at 2204. Okay, so Kali is about two minutes behind. Uh, not yeah. impossible to make up. Um, a minute 30 to a minute 40, yeah. Yeah. This is still, I consider everything until, until Dream Nail to be early game. Once you get Dream Nail, you're 15 minutes into a roughly 50 minute to an hour run. So that's when I, that's what I've decided mm -hmm. is the benchmark to mid game. Mm-hmm. Kali saving the Kali grub. Kali also saving the grub. We got Let's some, go. we got some grub, uh, 
grub love runners here. Oh yeah, I knew that Kali's a grub lover. I just wasn't yeah. sure if she would save I, the grub scene. Now, now, I'm not sure if they both did that on their own volition, or they actually set that up before the race of like, hey, we're going to save this grub. Yeah, I don't know either. I, I think I would assume of the own, of their own volition, but uh, not, again, mm -hmm. not sure. I also don't know if either of them have the race up, or if they're going blind. It is not against tourney rules at all to be watching the race while you run. Mm -hmm. So I'm, uh, I'm... And we see Sabe coming in here to say a quick hello to Myla um, and a quick goodbye to Myla as he oh goes God. up to get, get Crystal Heart. Yes, Myla isn't infected until after Crystal Heart either way, so you couldn't hurt her if you wanted to, Clark. <laughs> Uh, but we can we can always see if he memes later and goes to goes to kill her on his way to THK. I should hope not, <laughs> especially because who knows how close the runners will be. That's true. That's true. Only I time haven't will seen tell. any runners do it before THK. I have unfortunately seen some misguided souls kill Myla after beating THK. I see misguided souls. I see. Okay. I mean, okay. Yeah. Some some true heroes, as I would call them. Objectively uh, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so now that both runners have purchased King Station, they really don't need to worry about Geo for the rest of the run. Yep. Uh, the Watcher Knights chest is what we're gonna get later, or is what they're gonna get later on, uh, which will cover Geo cost for the entirety of the rest of the run, which is kind of crazy, um, as it gives you six hundred and fifty-five. So Wasabi having going through these cycle-based rooms here, very cleanly, not taking any damage. That's what you want to see. Coming up is the Crystal Heart Laser Room. There are two cycles you could take, the damageless versus the damage cycle. And although the, da the damage cycle is a little bit faster, it's not necessarily the wisest choice to make because the, you then have to go through all of Crystal Peaks minus the damage, and if you heal, that's time lost. Yeah, definitely. Um, and we're going to see Sabi go for one skip and possibly two here. That was the first one, um, homophody no, the Homophody No Fireball skip, where you yeah. use Dash Slash to air stall so that you're able to dash again and get to the next platform. Um, yeah. And coming up here is a possible underplat. Um, there yep, we go. There it is. <laughs> underplat from Salvi. Wasabi um, also takes a cycle. Done very nicely. Cycle. Um, quite smart. Did it really cleanly. We'll see what Kali no, does in about really? two minutes or so. Oh my gosh. Looks like he called it again. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I have no clue what this sound bite is, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get another HK Glot in chat? So Kali's struggling a little bit with that Glen back, trying to get soul off of it. None of the runners went for a Pog Axe. I'm not surprised at their level. It's not worth the risk for if you mess it up. Especially yeah. if you're running. It'll, it'll save two seconds, but it'll lose a lot more if done incorrectly. So yes. definitely one of the, one of the harder swag strats in my opinion. Oh no, and Kali messing up the timing in this room, that'll have a lot, a much greater implications. Ooh, yeah, the cycles here, if, if messed up, can uh, can be hard to predict. Yeah, Because like, it just depends on how, yeah, how to... much you mess it up. Uh, Sabi going so, for the the dash strat here in the dark room. Oh, oh, nope, he's good. Four, almost, four almost dying here, but he, he saves it uh, and gets through fairly cleanly, if I might add. Yes, it was quite clean. If you mess up anywhere and take damage in the dark rooms, you respawn at the beginning of the room because the, de the developers don't want you getting lost there as a new runner, as a new player. But for us speed running, it can throw us off a bit. So let's see what strat Kali goes for in the, in the Crystal Heart room. Yep. Uh, and here we, if, on, on Sabi's screen here, oh, uh, we see him dash slash so that 
he's able to he takes damage but he's Slide able to, to <laughs> yeah uh he's able to get early control from that pickup animation of getting um d dark no other platform kali you hate to see it yeah, no, no homothity, uh, no fireball, and no under platform collie. Um, you do indeed yeah. hate to see it. So, collie at this point, it looks like she has a larger gap than before. 2707, dream nail, uh, interacting with the dream nail platform. Um, if you could remember the time, because I'm definitely going to remember the collie's there. Yeah. Uh, Bear saying that Sabi was at 25.11 uh, at Crystal Heart and Kali was at 27.10. So it looks like Wasabi is so, widening, uh, widening the gap by a little bit. Every yeah, he, he, recited, he uh, widened it by 20 seconds from um, D-Dive to Heart. So we'll see yeah. if he's able to do that or if Kali's able to catch up in this... Uh, Coming up on the second half of the race here. A little bit in that room before the dark, before the dark room, and in the dark room as well. One health, please leave and re-enter and heal. Under platform wasabi, let's the go. The second through. under platform wasabi, two times you'll love to see it. So Kali is getting some heal off of that bug, because as you saw before, it's quite easy to take double double damage in that room. I think she chose to. Oh, safety strat of a uh, sea heart here, yeah. I've never seen these sea dashes before. Uh, I mean, it's it's more of more of a safety strat where you're able to then sea dash across all those platforms uh, right. to get over. It is it is slower, but it is definitely safer um, to do it that way. Okay, I've never seen that in my own runs. I use a combination of dashes and sea dashes. Yeah. I've never seen one where you only do C dashes. Um, yeah, interestingly, there are three different routes to take during that dark room. There's the C dash route, which you C dash all the way across, like uh, Sabi did there. No! <gasps> oh no! no! Kali taking a very unfortunate death Absolutely. at the, well, the very, very last, like basically the farthest possible away um, yeah. in this entire run. Very is unfortunate. Is place to die in the uh, entire it 100 percent is the worst place to die in the entire run very yeah. very unfortunate for Kali. might be green path honestly um possibly but. yeah um and we see sabi here coming up to the watcher knights he did do um she is sea dashing across this part which i've never thought to do really smart yeah it's really definitely good saves time when a runner dies or messes up, how they recover. Mm -hmm. Because to be able to think on your feet like that is really important. Oh, definitely, for sure. Uh, and Sabi here doing doing Watch Nights, we saw him do... Uh, we saw him above break a chandelier, which uh, falls on one of the Watch Nights, which is so that you're able to... Uh, you have to fight five instead of six, um, and it saves time there, so you have to fight one less. He also used a ton of D-Darks, as we said. It takes three dis uh, descending darks with Shaman Stone to kill them. And with the iframes, we can literally s just sit inside them and, st and spam the spell, assuming we get good RNG. Yep. Um, Kali here attempting to recover as she goes all the way back to Crystal Heart. She doesn't need to go all the way through Crystal through Crystal Peaks though. She That's can true. take the bottom route. Yeah, which will, um, yeah. So you don't have to go all the way back up to Sea Heart, but you do have to go all the way back to the Dark Room, which is still very unfortunate, and it will be um, a major time loss as well. For sure. Uh, Sabi again, Golden with. <laughs> with uh, with Larry in there, uh, can we get a third HK Glot in the chat, please? I wonder if he's on PB Pace. I have no idea. Mhm. Mm so now Wasabi is going to be going down for my personal favorite set of skips in the run, the Isma skips. It's a set of 
one spike tunnel followed by two acid skips, which are a ton of fun to pull off. So it doesn't yeah. look like Kali does know the the route to recover. Yep, if you through the bottom. Around. Yep. Which is very good. I really hope she can get through the dark room without too many problems this time. Yeah, let's let's hope so. Um, we, oh, attempting to get more soul and takes another hit of damage. Very unfortunate. Um, but let's see what she does here. Um, most likely going to be going for the same strat again. Uh, yep. Yes, she's going for it. She was trying to kill that bug that's in the way. Yeah, the crystal hunter. Those, mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, are probably the worst enemy in the game. I, I hate those things with a oh, passion. Yeah. They're right up there with Aspids, no question. Oh, for sure. So, Wasabi having a little bit of trouble with the... With the, the spike tunnel here. Spike Ooh, tunnel, yeah. taking two, three hits of damage. I really um, hope he can get it. And there so, we go. He does Third. need that soul to heal up for... to cast a fireball, because... For the next acid, spit, acid skip, it's possible that some of the worms will be in the way. Yeah. So Kali picking Ooh, up getting a, a fairly tight, um, fairly tight acid, acid skip there, but uh, managing to do it. Um, let's see how he does the setup here for this one. Ooh, oh, he takes too it high. If he dies here, and oh, oh no. no, so that Jack. that death. Definitely isn't as terrible as um, as Kali's, and he, he definitely is still ahead, but uh, it's still, still very unfortunate for Sabi here. Yeah, and it's really bad shade spawn location as well. If he loses all of that Geo... It oh, that's devastating for the rest of the run. Yeah. Yes. Um, and what's even more unfortunate is that I believe he was on PB pace with those golds. Oh no. Um, so he might have might have lost that with uh, with that death, which is very unfortunate. Yeah, uh, I'm not certain crazy. about that, but I, I think I'm fairly I, I'm fairly certain, but I'm I, again, still uncertain. Okay, so Sour telling us that he was not on PB pace, but with that death, PB is unfortunately out of the question. Wait, Serpent telling us that PB is not out of the question. I guess we'll see how well he plays the rest of the run. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have to see. If he PBs with a death, um, that would... I don't know, then he... I, I think that Sabi will definitely feel like he uh, he has a lot of a lot of time <laughs> stayed still in his run. Yeah. At like, a, at like a 49 minute pace for the rest of the run. Like, yeah, he can PB. Yeah. But... Getting, getting Spike Tunnel again, second try this time, as Kalu uh, C dashes all the way across here for Dream Nail. Um, oh, oh, she, oh no. no! We see her end it early, and yet she still ends up falling. That what is there was very unfortunate. If you in the wrong place on that roof, you can actually end up being too high to do the C dash properly. Oh, and a second oh. fall from Kali. Because very Kali unfortunate. is used to this. She's not necessarily, she doesn't necessarily know where the dream platforms spawn to mm. be able to get through it properly, which I think is what we saw there. So that'll be a really unfortunate time loss for her. Wasabi does not get the early control from Worms. I think he looked at them, saw them in a place he didn't like, and was like, eh, it's okay, I don't need it. Yeah. The important thing uh. is that he did not lose his shade so he mm -hmm. has his geo yeah he was he was able to uh, to get that final final skip for his mystere um and he does have his geo back which is very, very good for the rest of the run um, yes. and we see kali here uh, go, coming from dream nail um and going as sabi did before to go to go dream nail lurian and kill the watch Knights. So this bridge that Wasabi just, uh, uh, not dream nailed, <laughs> see dashed, see dashed. <laughs> yeah. is complete RNG whether or not you're going to get hit out of your C-dash. 
it looks like he did get the poor RNG and he got hit out of it, but he handled it really well. No, he stopped he, early. Yes, he stopped early, but he didn't take the damage, which is what matters. Right. Kali coming into the Watcher Knights fight here. Uh, we'll see how she does. Because this can be a, a little a little tricky if a fight. Generally, it's fairly easy. Uh, so you just want to de-dark the, the Watcher Knights a lot. But um, you can't end up taking damage from just attempting to spam it um, when there's two at the same time. Yes. But Kali getting really nice RNG and good damage output on that second set of Watch Knights kills them both as quickly as possible, which is really nice. Same with that last that last pair, which is also great. Yeah, and Sabi de darking and going through that last um what is the enemy name? Molark. Molark, that's it. Yeah. Uh, and getting an extra bit of soul off the last Molark there for uh yeah. Smart idea for there. Broken Vessel here. So those Molarks are actually less RNG than you'd think. Ooh, missing face crime as well. That's what it's called? I don't know. That's what I call it. Mm-hmm. Um, that jump is really hard to get. If you get it your first try, you're saving two seconds. If you get it your second try, you save no time. And if you miss it any more times than that, then you're actually losing time. So Wasabi now fighting Broken Vessel. Uh, very clean fight. Very well done. Yep. Um, uh, Kali, uh, gets Kali is attempt. Yeah, g going going back to the now uh, do do the Isma skips and we'll we'll see how yep. she fares on those as Sabi did earlier. Uh, and Wasabi, Wasabi now picking up the second to last movement ability of the game. Um, being the double jump, aka moth, uh, not moth and cloak, uh, monarch, monarch wings. wings. <laughs> yeah, uh, which is uh, the second, there's uh, the second vertical um, movement ability in the game. Yes, we don't really need it to get anywhere that we wouldn't be able to otherwise, except for Hornet Two, and it is technically possible to get there out of without wings. But it's a really cursed rando skip that I would not want to attempt during a speedrun. Oh, for sure. Involves pogoing off a shade and some aspids. Yeah. And this is all skills, so, you know, we need to do it. Yes. I have heard talk, though, of getting wings after fighting Hornet 2 which the thought of just scares me. So Kali actually doing an interesting strat there for the spike tunnel, using her air stall from the dash slash to give her enough movement again to be able to get through the spike tunnel. Yeah, She's very... the only runner that I know of who chooses that strat, and she actually says it's easier for her than the other version of spike tunnel. Yeah, I, it's, I must say, it's one that I haven't seen before, but uh, I can say it is a very cool swag strat from, oh, yes. uh, from seeing it there. Looks like she's struggling as well with Ooh, the... Struggling acid. with the final acid room, yeah. Yeah, this one, there's no visual cues you need to rely on feel for it. And if you mess it up, if you mess up the timing of the jump after the C-dash at all, you won't get the skip that pushes you over the ledge. Uh, and there she is able to get the acid skip finally and yep. uh, acquire Isma's tier. I don't know if she's going to get it. Oh, she is going to get it. Yep, she does there it get is. It. Awesome. Let's and go. kills it for uh, one use of soul. That's great. She, she probably nice wants to it to heal. That's what I'd imagine. Uh, there is a bench fairly soon, so I would imagine not. Um, but it we'll see. Of the bridge being 
Either way, this will be really nice going into both of that split. Wasabi currently on his way to Hornet 2, objectively the hardest boss fight in in the run. Yeah. Hornet 2 can give you attacks that can completely counter your spells, taking away any damage you would do. Yeah, her her parries are not not one to mess with, for sure. Yeah. Kali really cutting close with that second C dash there, but just misses taking damage. Yep. Really nice. Uh, let's see how this fight goes, especially seeing as Sabi did not use the safety strat, so he will have to, uh, if he dies here, um, walk all the way back. That would give Kali some time to catch up. Yeah, it would. I don't think it would be quite enough time, but um, would definitely close that gap. Because, I don't know, we'd have to wait to see. It would help her quite a bit. Yeah, it especially would. Especially because... Sabi had one, two, one death already, so he mm -hmm. had more deaths than her, and the walk yeah. was quite long. I think I think they're uh, they're they're two minute difference along with Kali dying, and one of the worst places to die on this run. Um, definitely does not help things. Oh, yeah, and there, like there's Wasabi the kill. Doing that. Nice fight from Wasabi. Not too many doubles though. Yeah. It takes a lot of skill and, and knowledge of the fight to be able to double every fireball. Mm -hmm. But the Definitely. damage it does if you get it right is so important. Oh, for sure. Um, so, and that's what that's how people are. Oh, Kali, no. Kali's getting the bad RNG from this Mala. It is complete RNG whether or not you get hit here. Mm, no, those are those are timed. No, that Those second, are... that C dash Moloch is completely. Oh, RNG. oh, is it? All the other ones are are not RNG. Oh, I see. Choosing oh. wisely to heal up off of this Moloch because if you're standing there, there is a very, 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 very small chance you'll get hit. Yeah, similar to Nosk, where there's just places in the arena where you can just stand and up slash. Yep. And she's the and she's the enemy or boss. So it looks like Kali is also going for the basin jump. She does not get it and does not attempt another try. Let's yeah, see how she fares against the broken vessel fight. So Wasabi going through one of the breather sections of the run now to get Cyclone Slash. There aren't any movement heavy segments. There aren't any dangerous segments. It's sort of a chance for the runners to breathe before you go into Umu, Umu and the yeah. incredibly heavy end, end segments of the game that are just really heavy movement. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um. Kali getting a lot of headbang attacks, which is what you want to see with the fight. Because yep, you can and just spam, spam D-Dark. Yeah. She ended it fairly quickly too, which is um, which is good to, to see. And gets the correct timing for the C-Dash into the next room. Let's go. Uh, Sabi coming up here for the second time to, to King's Pass. Um, this is the the good uh, alternate alternative uh to coming to king's pass in this run uh the second of course being a reset which we which we cannot see in a race setting king's pass people arrive indeed because of how easy it is to mess up in the beginning segments there's a meme in the community for how often a king's pass gets reset <laughs> i know yeah. one runner who has reset King's Pass, I think he said 40 times in one day? I thought it was 50. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, yeah, I have it no was idea. a lot. It was definitely a lot, yeah. I've just I've just heard it down from the uh, from the grapevine. Serpent in chat saying only 50. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Sabi again, Golden Cyclone Slash. <laughs> Let's go, HK Glod for, for Sabi. The fourth HK Glod. I think that's four, four Glods so far. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah. And Kali here coming up on uh, Hornet 2 as Wasabi um, now goes to Uma. Yeah. I don't think there's any chance he can PB, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely certain um, about that either, especially with that death. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I could be proven wrong. Yeah, however these gold cities has been getting seem, uh, seem all right. Yep. I'm curious by how much, especially because as we said, like, there's not much going on in, in that split. So to gold it, like, your movement has to be really good. Yeah. So Wasabi now going down into Fog Canyon. This area is kind of scary if you mess up any of the movement because you can take plenty of damage off these jellies, as you can see now, mm -hmm. and those big ones deal double damage. Thankfully, yeah. he did not hit any of those. I'm curious, though, to see if he'll take the bench before Umu. I uh, imagine... He's at two health. I would imagine that he would. Yeah. Um, and to respond to KK in chat, we can sure try. What are you talking about? The, the gold sound is amazing. <laughs> uh, Kali coming up here on Hornet 2, uh, and we'll, we'll see how she fares. Uh, Hornet 2, parrying her shade soul just as she casts it. You do not like seeing that a Oof. second time. She did get a couple shade soul doubles though already, at least one that I saw. While Wasabi is fighting Umu, there is a very specific setup to be able to one-cycle Umu. I'm curious if he's going to get it. It is very precise with yeah, the setup and with the damage output. It, it is indeed quite hard to get. Um, and and if, Umu if he gets an extra attack... Oh, a very slow yeah. quirl, however. Oh, only three hits. No, oh, no. no. Oh, you really hate to see it. I'm not sure. He might be able to. But without, oh, without soul, I believe, here. He just hasn't, he wasn't able not, he was not able to get that dream nail off. And yeah, it's looking like a three cycle. Yeah, I don't, yep, it's a three cycle. I don't think he'll get a four cycle if he handles this next bit well. I hope let's just die. hope he just yeah let's just hope he doesn't die <laughs> yeah oh choosing to heal with that soul very well, interesting yeah smart but also the need for it here is uh yeah. Umu, i believe is going to still be three fireballs away yep there we go yeah, there it is uh kali having a nice one two fight and has gotten the king's brand yep but if she is able to one-cycle Umu, then that might give her a bit of a chance to catch up. I don't know if it'll be enough, but I guess we'll see. There's currently a five-minute time difference between them, uh, Little Bear telling us, from King's Brand. But we'll see how that looks after Kali does Umu. Yeah, Sabi with that still three cycle. Um, very unfortunately, if Kali's able to get a one cycle, that could, um, you know, uh, that could lessen the gap between them. Okay, um, chat telling us that Kali does not go for one cycle though. I don't imagine Ooh. she'll change that. Yeah. It it is incredibly difficult. To yeah, get. it is incredibly precise to get, um, which makes it fairly hard. And like even top runners still mess it up at times. Oh, for sure. I wonder if Kali will. Oh, she does not talk to Elderbug. Well, we can hope for after the run. Yes, I don't know if Kali is an Elderbug person. I feel like she is, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So Wasabi now heading into the most movement heavy areas of the run with the the split arena to get howling raids, which although it's an arena, 
is very movement based. All the squids spawn in the same location, which means you want to kill them the same way every time. Then you go into Queen's Gardens, a super movement he heavy area, which goes into Dark ne Deep Nest, a segment of three rooms that are just completely movement in the dark. So we'll yeah. see how the runners handle dark that. Dark Deep Nest is, uh, it can be a challenge, but um, if, you, if you know the layout, it's yeah. fairly easy. For most runners, it's actually the Crystal Peaks one is harder. Mm -hmm, definitely. Oh, I forgot about Great Slash. That one is also incredibly movement heavy. <laughs> yeah. I uh, saw me having a bit of trouble but getting through the room this. okay. I mm -hmm. do run this category. Yes, good job. <laughs> <laughs> he does not get the air walk. You do not like seeing that. But let's see how his movement is with the rest of the, of the split. You, this is the first bit of C dash platforming, and I think the only proper bit of C dash platforming in the run. Because uh, yeah, here and then out of out of the arena after getting Howling Wraiths. It's not so much C dash platforming though. Yeah, that's true. Like here, you just going through C dashing, skipping these rooms, but then you have to. C dash in between uh, floaty guys. I, I think they're Durandas. Not sure. Something similar to that, yeah. yeah. I think. So that's what you're going to see Wasabi do here. And it's incredibly timing based. So if you mess it up, you won't get the quick cycle. Wasabi taking a different strat than I've seen. Taking Ooh. damage off of that, you don't like to see it. I'm Thankfully, the, uh, the, yeah, the hitbox, or the, the hazard respawn. That's it, hazard respawn. Yeah. Thankfully, the hazard respawn is right where he took damage, so yes. didn't really lose any, any time by yes, going back. He's about to quit out. He's not in any danger, really. Yeah. So... He's now getting our last um, nailer of the game, of the run. Get After this, there are only two more skills and one dreamer to get before we... Ooh, Kali opting to heal here instead of taking the bench above. Honestly smart. I think it's faster to heal, although I'm not sure what she's planning on doing about soul. Oh, she has enough soul. She could afford to do that. Yep. I hadn't realized she'd gone. Uh, they, they are now one one bench length behind. Or two, actually. Right. So because we get hard saved by the dreamers, it's not worth taking the bench beforehand because it'll just get reset to the dreamer after we're done getting it. Right. Yeah, there, so, are, there are a few hard saves in the game. Um, that being the Dreamers and D-Dive. And Shade Soul. Yes. Or sorry, Shade Cloak. Shade Cloak. Yeah, I'd actually Shade forgotten Cloak. about the, the D-Dive one. Yep. So I have no clue if Kali's on track for a two cycle. I unfortunately don't Ooh. know. Gets an extra here, I think. Um, I don't think that's an extra. I could be mistaken. No, that's probably an extra. It seems like... But she does get the two cycle. Yeah. Uh, Wasabi here in the Squit Arena room. Um, we'll see how he, how he fares. He seems to be doing okay against all of these. Yeah. He is taking... Ooh. Oh! Stunks and spikes. Yep. It's not what you want to see. But he does handle it pretty well. Afterwards. He handles it all right, yeah. Yeah, I want to see. Let's see, does he heal? He, yep. Yes, because getting the spell will refill, refill your soul meter. Yeah. Yeah, getting the upgraded version does not do that. However, only the base. Uh, Bear telling us that the runners are now four minutes apart. Looks like she closed the gap. Yep. Not by enough, unfortunately, though. I'm trying to think if there are any more lynch points. Oh, you know what it is? The worst place to die 
It is definitely at the end of Dark Deep Nest. No question in my mind, because you have to go through all of Queen's Gardens again, as well as you have to find your shade in the dark, and there aren't really any Ooh. more good places to farm Geo if you don't get it. So I think that's the one place you can die that's actually worse than Crystal Peak's death. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, in the second room specifically. If you somehow get like hit by a weaver there, yeah. The second room... I'm trying to think of... The second room, there isn't really a place for you to take damage unless you fall. Yeah, which, that's unless true. Unless you've practiced recovering, good luck. <laughs> right. Like, it's... Unless you've practiced where to go to get back up to where you're supposed to be, it's incredibly hard to just do blinds. Yeah, definitely. And some runners don't even know which direction you're supposed to go. Mm -hmm. uh, Sabi here coming through gardens. Um, we'll see if he sea dash is here or nope, he does not choose to. Um, because if you get hit by that, it's a uh, set of time loss. So it's yeah. whether you want to end up going for it or not. Really uh, not, nice gardens, though. Yeah, not needing to dream nail those guys for soul. Yeah. He was already at full health when he went into the room. He only took the one damage that was absolutely mandatory in that split. It does look like he took a damage here, though, and is maybe not getting lost, but he did struggle a bit there. Getting over the area with the spikes. He didn't use soul there. That'll be good, because he'll be able to instead of having, well, after he gets the dreamer, he'll be able to kill the the stalking devout instead of having to go around. Right. And chat telling us that Kali did get the airwalk. Unfortunately, I was not watching her screen at the time. But you really love to hear it. <laughs> so very clean, dark, deep nest from Wasabi while Kali goes through the C dash segment. With the Duran does. Getting good cycles. Synchronized C dash, let's go. Uh, will Sobby trip? Ooh, Sobby does not charge a nail art here for a first cyclone slash on that um, barrier. So, a fun fact if you don't stop your C dash into that room that Kali was just in, you automatically get dumped in the spikes. The devs do not give you enough time to stop your C dash. Yeah, because there so, is the the difference there when you go into that room. There's that there's kind of that barrier of time where you have uh, to stop your C dash, and it yeah. is not enough time at that point. So, it's an, it's very important for the runners to stop the C dash beforehand. Uh, Sabi with the fifth <laughs> gold at Hera. <laughs> you love to see it. HK Glod for the fifth time. Absolutely beautiful sound. Indeed, indeed. So I'm not sure where Wasabi used his extra hit of soul that he didn't have enough to kill the devout that way. I'm a little bit confused with that. But he's now on his way to go to the abyss. This is the last scary area of the run. It includes two movement heavy segments, one very RNG dependent. The sibling climb is the first one in the room with the lighthouse, and although the shade spawns are apparently not RNG, their drift is. So, where they will spawn, yes. where they will be when you get to them, is completely RNG dependent, and they deal two damage. So if you mess it up, it's not unheard of for a runner to die there. Right, and especially if you get hit beforehand on your way down there. 
Um, coming with four health instead of five can definitely definitely hurt you if you take two damage, um, as oh, that yeah. will amount to death instead of you being at one HP. Yes. So Kali's struggling a little bit there with Mound, down two health. I want to see her heal now, but she should be fine for Queen's Gardens. Yes, she is healing here. Good choice. Yeah, we're we're gonna see Kali come up here on um, as as Sabi did previously on Queen's Gardens, and then Beasts then as well, uh, yes. where the runners using wings and. Uh, Claw are able to skip a majority of it. So, Wasabi now going into the room with the sibling cloud. Let's see how he handles it. This part can be very nerve wracking, but he gets a very clean sibling sibling climb. Well, yeah, done. wow, not even a taking even one damage. Not very so nice to see from Wasabi. Falling down at all, like not losing his upward momentum. So, Kali coming up on the mandatory damage warp over here. She gets it first try. Messing and with her hit, uh, charges a nail art to then hit the barrier there um, to, in fact, only be able to only need to hit it twice before... Um, no. Oh, Wasabi oh. almost hit Quid out before he touched the Mason. <laughs> so, <laughs> Zombie, <laughs> Zombie almost quitting out too early, but at the same st time, even with that, still golding again in Shade Cloak. <laughs> that, is the, that is the sixth HK Glod. Let's go, Wasabi. Yep. Let's doing see, doing great right. on this race with his golds. <laughs> so he's now going to pick up his last skill, Abyss Shriek. This gives us the biggest amount of damage output in the game. Unfortunately, we get it just at the end, but it is incredibly useful against the Hollow Knight fight. We use it almost exclusively because we're able to get right up in the Hollow Knight's face and just scream at him until he dies. Ooh, Kali having an unfortunate room before the dark room there, oh, uh, no. not getting the timing down for the for the inventory drop. I really hope Kali gets through these dark rooms smoothly. I know she has, I'm pretty sure she has had a, a death here in the past. Uh, Sabi there farming soul for the use of in a, uh, a Howling Wraiths. I don't know what's going on with this stream though, that we're dropping so many frames though. We would have gotten synchronized Z dashes. Yeah. Um, no. Not sure really what happened there, but Sabi here is getting um, Shade Cloak, and we'll Abyss see how he. Sorry, Abish. Sorry, he got Shade Cloak for it, but getting Abyss Shriek now. Uh, we'll see how he fares with the Abyss Climb um, and THK. Yes, yeah, so the Abyss Climb is the last movement segment of the run, and also the most movement heavy. It's incredibly precise. And especially with the way that we do it, you use spikes to, you have to get really close to certain spikes to be able to pogo off of them to gain enough height. This is the most nerve wracking area. He does miss the spike. Ooh, missing the second the spike pogo there. Uh, going for it again and getting it. That's it. Let's You'll go. You'll love to see it. it. Uh, Kali here coming up on Hera, the last and final dreamer. Yep. So, nice abyss climb from Wasabi. He is now going to fight the Hollow Knight. He is going to be going in with full health and one soul. I imagine he won't opt to, heat and to take the Dirtmouth bench because he is at full health and he has a soul. And if you die to the Hollow Knight, it automatically leaves you by in the Black Egg Temple anyway. Right. So he, he, there's no need for the bench there. Yes. So Kali choosing the yeah, right cool. side. Um, yeah, yeah. Sabi here dropping in frames, it looks like. 
I really hope we'll be able to see this holiday Yeah, let's hope so. Okay, there we go. It looks like it's cleared up. I don't want to don't want to comms curse the frames. That would be the, the definitely the worst thing to, to comms curse, uh, especially here at the end. See that? Selby, where are you going? Where is he? I have no clue where he is. All right, Sabi has chosen to meme. Let's just see what he We're does. Frames as well. Oh. Um. Hmm. All right. Uh, chat. Any idea what Sabi is doing here? I genuinely have no clue. Did he autopilot? Did he? I think he he might have autopiloted to Umo. <laughs> oh my gosh, Wasabi! Please I'm... take the bench now. Oh, no, no, he's. Or did he just? Cutting the grub. Let's go, Wasabi. That's what you like to see. And there is the grub saved. Also at one HP. No, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> oh no! That'll give Kami a. <gasps> he's good. all the way, but he didn't take the bench at Dormouth. Oh my god, I didn't realize. He's all. He's frustrated. Post he's still ahead. He's, he's still he ahead. is still ahead, but that is a very big time deficit. Oh yeah. Oh no. Punished <laughs> for the grub. He died for the meme. You hate he to see it. We have a lot of numbers on Monstellar's chart, though. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Wasabi, why didn't you take the bench? Oh no. Oh gosh, there's this. What? The All right, let's oh, see. Yeah. Oh, Kali taking a hit. <gasps> Kali taking two hits. Oh no. Oh no, Kali. Kali, no. Oh, okay. Very I'm narrowly good. avoiding very many siblings right now. Yes. Okay, she's good though. Oh, she's okay. She's she's all right. Oh, Wasabi demonstrating a second abyss climb. <laughs> Three abyss climbs today. Let's go. You love to see it. Hey, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. We could get more than three. Let's hope not. Do you though. want more than three? I would not like more than three. Yes. I don't like more than two. And we're <laughs> dropping frames again. It uh, looks like he's at the top, though. Yup, he so. is. And Kali is about to quit out. Yep. So on to the Hollow Knight fight for there's the, the uh, there's the quit out from Kali uh, as she gets yeah. Shade Cloak. Sabi here, hopefully opting to take a bench uh, at one of these two locations. At least if he'll get a shade, because at um, this point. Oh Kali yeah, at this point it really doesn't matter. I mean, like it still technically does because you do want that to be a, the ability to store three. Um, Three spells over two, but... Yes, that'll be a huge difference. Also, but I'm, if he has a stream open, Kali could catch up. There, there is the potential. It, it depends on if he goes for a shade here and depends on how fast... Um, okay, so he does opt to take this bench here, just in, just in the uh, just-in-case category. Um, before whatever he's gonna do here, whether it's so, does he? He does not opt to go for his shade. Okay, we'll see how this Hollow Knight fight goes. Yeah. I don't uh, think there are any times where you should be getting to have a full thing of soul. Now let's let's see if he goes for a helicopter. Oh. He gets the. <laughs> and he gets. I forget what the name of that is. Uh, I was gonna say let's see if he goes for helicopter night, but he in <laughs> fact did not did not go for that. Um, nope. Yeah, he got the uh, the Superman glitch as Super Knight. Chat, Super Knight, as Chat seems to be calling it. Yeah. Very um, funny to see. First time I've ever seen that. So. NMG, we use multiple glitches throughout the run such as inventory dropping, such as the hazard warp, and uh, the air walk, just to name a few. So Ooh, Sabi trying to get the uh, the new strat of cyclos cyclone slashing those chains to um, get them slightly earlier, but so unfortunately missing. Wasabi... Uh, as, we a, uh, fight, as we see a... As we see a climb from Kali. Yeah. Let's 
see how both of these flowers handle uh, what is presented to I'm them. I'm not sure which screen to watch. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous for Wasabi, though. He yeah, two masks here. Ooh, one perfect. mask. This could give Kali a chance to catch up. If he dies to the Hollow Knight. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> so close to taking another point of damage. And one health again. Please heal Wasabi. My heart does not like this. <laughs> uh, Alright, well he takes the heal. Nice pogo on the Hollow Knight. He does miss getting all four ticks on two of his. Another one health chooses opposite to heal again, uh, right before the screen. Yes, so he is able to heal here, which is good. He opts to heal twice, which is honestly very smart. Especially because in the bullet health phase, it's a ton of time that if you spend dodging, you're not spending... Attacking, yeah. So that is the final screen from the Hollow Knight. He's almost dead. Right, now Kali... And there we go. GG Wasabi. Yep, as Kali here comes up to THK. So it looks like Kali will not be going to save the crown for the memes. Yeah, not, not in Wasabi. this one. GG on the golds as well. I think there were five of them. <laughs> there, there were indeed five, five golds that Wasabi has got eaten here today. Yep. Um, and if you and if you could, Sarah, can you mark uh, Wasabi is done? Yes. So Kali now having her Hollow Knight fight, going in also with five health and a uh, one damage of soul. This will be good because it means that she'll be able to get off a shriek as soon as the, as the Hollow Knight is done screaming at her. She does have the distinct advantage of not having a cracked vessel, though. This is true. So, what you're looking for in the Hollow Knight fight is parries, damages, and no parries. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do not. You do not want parries. That is the one yeah. attack that you are like, you're not looking for. Uh, you also don't want dashes because you want to be able to stay as close to him as possible. Yeah, for the uh, just for do. the shrieks. Yeah. So she's getting plenty of dashes, unfortunately, and parries. Oh, you hate to, I literally comp scarced it. I 100% comp scarced it. <laughs> um, this is an attack that's good because she can do hits and uh, get a spell off. I hope she heals here. Just one. Oh, two to be safe. Yep. Nice that she's getting damage off during that attack as well. So, the Hollow Knight, yep, there's that last scream. I was about to say he's close to the scream. Yep, now this is the, the, and oh. GG. And there. that is a, that is a GG from Kali as she, as she finishes off the THK. Yes, yeah, so, oh, I, unfortunately, Mark is done before the music finished. Oh, um, yeah, that cuts off. Let me here. invite... I think I need to send them the... Uh, yeah. Speed gaming should send it automatically, but sometimes it's faulty. I would say send them links okay. just in case. Honestly, a great race. Yeah. Lots of grub saves, which is obviously the All, most always, important. always awesome to see for sure. Uh, they're in the other yes, chat. Let's so. see if we can move them up. 
Uh, let's not move them up until... Hello. GG guys. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Commentators for common? Yeah, yeah for sure. I'll be on the win. Sabi, that grub. Oh my god. Well, that was uh, the most it. costly grub, but you know that what? That really was. <laughs> <laughs> the grub, though. Yeah, you did save it. You, you do love to see it. Yeah, it uh, was... Uh, but very, uh, very costly. Worthwhile, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. What were you thinking? The worth grub. I think I'll name that the worth grub. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So, Grub is just worth. So, congrats on the five golds. Yeah, jeez. Uh, I'm so sorry about the fucking. <laughs> no, oh, sorry. It was good. Oh. It was good. It's great content. I will say that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so people are acting like it's a it was a lewd reaction or something, but it's like no, it's like it's just like relax, guys. I don't know. It's, it's just a gold sound. None to see here. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, also, I'm going to ask this at the beginning. Uh, does chat have any questions for our runners here? Because uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm I'm one, I'm prone to forget that. So, Kali, mm -hmm. after your death in Crystal Peaks, what was going through your mind? How are you I'm, feeling about the run? Um, I figured at that point it was probably over, but I wanted to play my best anyway. I wasn't playing well at all today. Nerves got to me pretty badly. Um, so, I mean, with Rando, I knew the quickest way to get back. <clears throat> um, so my goal was just to get back there as quickly as I could. Of course. Yeah, I saw that you had those backup strats. It's nice how Rando can help with that. Um, it really having is. Having items yeah. where you... Of course. Yeah, because most runners, I assume, in practice, just yeah. kind of quit out there and death and see if he's like... <laughs> right, exactly. Do I really right, continue? <laughs> in a race setting, you, you can't do that. Yeah, of course. So did either mm -hmm. runners have the stream open? Um, I, I did. Open. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was. I didn't have audio, but I had it open. I was really nervous after I saw I messed up Aspid Arena, and then I saw Kali mess it up too, and I'm like, okay, you know what? <laughs> All right. I like. I noticed I was very tense. Like every muscle of my body was like rigid. I was like, let's relax a little bit, maybe. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. for sure. Uh, yeah. I I can I can definitely definitely feel that. Uh, same same with me as well. In common, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was definitely more nervous for this race than any of the other two that I've done so far. Yeah, there's there's definitely a lot more pressure when you have a chance or an expectation to win. Um, yeah, um, man, like, that yeah, grub. Yeah. I just wanted to go visit the grub father just like this. And then I was like, while I'm visiting the grub father, why don't I save this grub? And I forgot there was like three Aww. explosive souped up enemies in that room. Yeah. Like, Oh my god, I'm just... <laughs> I was just so worried. Uh, if you'd have gotten your shade and then gotten really poor Hollow Knight RNG, Kali could have taken it back. Yeah, especially if I had yeah, gotten my shade and then just died, because I was pretty close to death there, too. So, um, yeah. But you know what? The grub was worth. You, it it would have been worth an L. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that grub. Um, sure, also, sure. I, we got two abyss climbs. Two triple spikes out of that. I don't know if Kali does triple yeah. spike, but... Yeah. yeah. No, we, we were... Uh... Three lovely abyss climbs. So yep. <laughs> very, very nice to see. Very nice to see. <laughs> I did build um, my watcher knights. That was ooh, by yeah. about a, two ooh, seconds, nice. I believe. That's yeah, we both we both golded our watcher knights today. Nice. That was, yeah, that's I, awesome. I, I, they just stacked up real nice for me. I'm like, oh, well, I wish yeah, you had ever yeah, done that exactly. in a good run. Thanks. Right? But, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sabi, were you ahead of PB at all? Um, um during, no, because I would have, so my PB, the, the, if I'm going to PB again, it's probably going to be from playing really well in, in Dark Nest, which I did, I did gold Dark Nest, but like, mm -hmm. I died beforehand, so it was doomed. Yeah. So I won't, in most of my, in, I, I don't imagine I'll ever be ahead in a run until Dark Nest. I saved a full minute in Dark Nest, though. Wow. So wow. I thought I had, four, I thought I had 40 seconds there. It looks like it's around 60. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's crazy. Sure. Um, and then I golded Shade Cloak right after for another three, so. I am curious though, Wasabi, because I thought I saw you go through Dark Nest and, and leave it with three hits of soul, but after the Dreamer sequence, you only had two. So I'm curious, where did that last bit of soul go? Well, uh, chat was saying that I, I had to spam spells on the, on the, uh, Devout because my D Dark missed because it trolled me and walked backwards early. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, I'll just shade soul you twice, <laughs> I guess. Don't, don't have time for this. Um, but yeah, um, I thought that we we had both pretty much earned our uh, 
early to mid game. Uh, I definitely I earned the uh, hitless crystal peaks, which I think is the first time I've oh, ever nice. done that. That's and cool, yeah. I also earned the death to the spikes, uh, the spike tunnel and the Yzma's acid oh, no. skip. Like, and I saw that you got that first try with your dash last yeah. strat. I was really, I really proud was, to see that. I was that. pretty happy with that. Yeah, if nothing really else, cool. at least I got that first try. I was proud of that. Yeah, yeah that's, so. that's a, a strategy that I've never seen before. So that was awesome to uh, to see for the first time. Yeah, Kali, I think you're the only runner who consistently goes for it. The nerf does yeah. it as well. Who? Mm, I see. Nerf on Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, very cool, very cool. Um, and also chat is asking, was the grub saved in City, was that planned? Because both nope. of you guys did go for it. Nah, that was just an easy one. Honestly, if I was behind, I would not have gone for that grub. So Kali is a lot more <laughs> chivalrous than I am. I, um, I always go for that grub unless I'm on like serious PB pace. And even then sometimes I'll go for it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. He's a lot more chivalrous than me. I, I I was considering the grub and sea peaks, and I was like, no, because I don't want to like throw off my rhythm for sea peaks, and then just like, especially if like Kali starts catching up, because I didn't, I obviously didn't know she was going to die like in, in sea peaks. So I was like, if she starts catching up in sea peaks, I'm gonna like, and just because I trolled and grabbed that grub, I'm gonna be annoyed. So, I just, yeah, let's not. Especially because it's so out of the way. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of risk with that grub. Mm -hmm. So, and if I was going to catch up, it would have been in peak or mound because that's where my biggest time saves typically are. Mm. Yeah. Right. So are there any parts of the run um, for both runners? What's your favorite part of the all skills run? My favorite um, is Hornet 2. <laughs> Hornet oh, 2 is my really favorite. Weird. And then my second favorite would be the Great Slash split. I, I love fighting Hornet too. I I have not gotten good at her fight to where I can like consistently <laughs> save time there. I know that I have a lot of time to save on that fight from I need to learn how to double her and stuff. Um but I do enjoy fighting her. I would say my favorite part of this run is actually Soul Sanctum and Peaks, because those are the parts I've practiced the most and it feels really good to do them quickly. And I hate it yeah. that we both got trolled by the Soul Master. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> you so guys. Bad. You guys oh, man. Not gonna get a, uh, map, like I was like, I got, I, I got the good start that I wanted, and then he just didn't teleport into the third fireball, and I'm like, okay, cool. And you just yeah. got knives and whatnot, and then Wasabi, you had one shade soul that you fired at at him while he was walking away from you, and it didn't double. Wait, which one? Uh, the while he was uh the soul master. When he was oh, the soul master! Up. Yeah, the, the soul master just trolled me super hard in like oh, every yeah. possible way. I was like, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> then I saw the troll Kali too, and I'm just like, I wish one of us <laughs> had gotten a good soul master and showed off like those quick strats. Because when people see like this soul master die in 20 seconds flat, they're like, wow, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I used up my good soul master in practice yesterday. Oh, I see. <laughs> I really wish we could have both gotten the deathless run today because I, I do like seeing those runs where yeah. both runners yeah, we're both running really well yeah. unfortunately yeah. i guess neither one of us were up to that yeah well it was still a very fun race and it was still uh super yeah. fun to commentate so. yeah, it was it was closer than i expected it to be <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i mean actually i expected it to be close i expected to be close up until the point i died and that point right. i figured it wasn't going to be yeah. Yeah. Resetting to abyss. I will. I, I started to like math it out. I'm like, can Kali catch up here? I was like, maybe. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just climb as oh, no. I can and see what happens. So, yeah, by, you ended up being, I think, around one abyss climb apart. Yeah, yeah. generally. <laughs> so I was. You know, when I was going to grab the grub, I thought I'm like. I should have benched a dirt mouse so I could have so I can quit back out there once I grab this grub. And then I died and I was like, wow, I really should have benched a dirt mouse, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's the problem with that grub. Ears especially if you do rando categories or for for mass charts, it it doesn't necessarily compute, oh, this room is going to be infected now. Because mm. in in all the other categories, you almost never go to that area. Yeah, in Rando, right. it's like, when do you ever grab that grub during infected crossroads? It's like, exactly. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, not my finest moment there, but um, I'm glad the chat was entertained by it. It's all about the content. <laughs> of course. <laughs> 
So, uh, chat, do you have any more questions that you would like to ask the runners? Yeah, any, any further questions before we uh, wrap up here? I would like to say to Kali that I, I uh, really enjoyed racing against her and that uh, I'm glad she continued to play well after the death and sea peak. So. Yeah, I enjoyed this run too. Um, despite the nerves and the deaths, it was a really fun race. Thanks, Wasabi. So, chat asking if you can go talk to Elderbug. I am already doing that. No, 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 no. Sarah, Sarah, the question is Myla killing. No, no. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the question is definitely about Myla killing, not. Uh, yeah. Going to Myla, I, I think you misread. Clark. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you know, I, I do have glasses, so I, I can't see the best, <laughs> but uh, it, it definitely says, uh, my question is, is kill Myla, please. No, it must be bad, Myla. It, it can't mm. be anything else. Ah, I see, I see. Holly talking to Elderbug makes Sira happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, where, 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 father's my homie. Yeah. He's the now? homie above homies. So I, I I'm have just to going go for a walk. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to kill Milo. You hate to see it. Are you going you to save that grub as well? Nah. You know, my I'm this place is very special to me. The, the grub home because. When I first played Hollow Knight, this was this was the moment I realized how big the game was. Because at first, like, I was like, okay, so there's like 20 grubs that I need to save. And I saw these over here and I'm like, oh, oh maybe yeah. like 22. And then when I grab that fourth grub, it appears way in the background here. And I'm oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> like this game is going to that. last forever. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I, I definitely had that misconception too the first time playing. Like, there's like that one in the fort, that one in the background, but like earlier or more in the foreground than the background. Uh, mm -hmm. More in the foreground of the background, I should say. And I thought it was like only that one. And I was like, oh, there's not many of them. And then you realize it's all of them, even in the very back. And you're like, oh, yeah. 44, 42 grubs is the total, I think. 46, 46. It's 46. Yeah, I believe it was 46. Yeah. I know it's an even number, but where you're going, Colin. Well, I died, so <laughs> not going anywhere. <laughs> I died on the oh, uh, old Sabi, yeah. tragic. Oh. Went the wrong way, oh. infected. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. That's from Polly. I don't know why though. She has wings. She doesn't need to do the shade skip. <laughs> 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 oh, was she going to save Sly? That's what I was going to do, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> I need saving. Okay. But, um, uh, I don't know. I think when we're it... going to end off here, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Clark and Sira, for coming. For yeah, of course. Time. Yeah, thank you, Kams. Yeah. Chichi's Wasabi, congrats on your win. Very well thank played. You. Thank you. Wasabi. <laughs> All right. Okay. Have a good yeah. night, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. To both everyone everyone well. who's supporting yeah. both of us in chat. Yeah. Saw a lot of wholesome yeah, messages. Yeah, thank you, chat. Yeah. Um, so tune in for chat. Tonight. Definitely keeping it real. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So another, there will be another all skills run technically today, but it is midnight. So very technically. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever it is. And we yeah. will see you hopefully for other all skills races. All right. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night.